Hello, my friends. Today we're going to try and finish this game. Hopefully. But, uh, yeah. Um, while I'm waiting for this to load, uh, just a small reminder. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, because that would help me out a lot. And comment, too. That also helps. Literally, just anything video interaction will make my video more viewed and put me in the algorithm. So, yeah. If you want to support me, do that, please. Anyways, time to finish this wonderful game that just absolutely decimated my brain cells last time I played. So, uh, sexy Chad Finn, there you are. There, I got carried away exploring the island. Gotta be careful around Kit. I know exactly what she's capable of firsthand. Is that so? Well, it's no harm, but you'll have a whole week to explore, you know. You'll get one date with each of the girls for the first five days. A little something... Stop with notifications, my friend. I do something special for day six. In the final ceremony where you propose to one of the girls. Sounds like the perfect amount of time to figure out if we're meant to be together. Er, yeah. Sounds like the perfect amount of time to meant... Yeah, yeah. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. You want to spend the day with? Something about her, you know? Found Scarlet inside the library, the place I'd most often. Yep, yep, okay. She always looked so happy when she was reading. Do the heart good to try and make her smile in the same way I talked with her. We became fast friends again. The similarity of her situation might have played a part in that. Still, I'm not sure why Ali insisted on me going to date with Scarlet today. Sure, getting her memories back will be a huge win, but... Hey, Scarlet, Sexy Chadfin. I'm glad you're safe. Things are going crazy out there. What's happening? I know it sounds crazy, but there's a horde of zombies outside. The Brothers Five and a lot of our behind-the-scenes help went crazy and... Scarlet, did you do that? You did this, didn't you? What? I've been here the whole time with Sexy Chad Finn. I couldn't have. I've never heard of anything like this. Wait, what? It's true. I can vouch for her. We've been here, both here, since our day started. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, either way, I bet you can create a cure for it, no? I mean, I probably could, but I need my equipment. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it anywhere. Tch. Follow me. You can use our lab. Follow Cat to the games room. Cat put her hands, hand against the wall, revealing yep, your trap door. Cool, epic Minecraft trap door. She walked in and beckoned for us to follow. Walked down spiraling stairs for... Who knew how long? I was shocked more than a few times. I remember this place. You should have everything you need in this room to make a cure. Just don't go snooping around. The long this lab belongs to R&D, and we could all get in trouble if you do. Actually, this place doesn't have everything I need. What else do you need? To build a cure, I'm going to need a sample of whatever this is. I need a live specimen. I'm sure you can help with that, Sexy Chad Finn. I've got uh, some editing that needs my attention. You got this. Just like that, she was gone. If it makes you feel better, I'll help you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one who can make the cure, then it might be better for you, stay, for you to stay back. No thanks. There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I've just got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimens. That is weird, but in this case, she's absolutely correct. Some memories must be intact, even if they're kept below the surface. Well, let's get on with this. Went back up to the surface. Everywhere we looked was overrun by zombies. We wouldn't stand a chance against groups, so we spend the day trying to split them up as well as searching for lone wolves. Brains, bananas! We're in luck, we finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring him in though? One bite and we're finished. I've got just the thing. Scott pulled out a pair of brass knuckles. 
Where did you even get that? It's not really important right now. You mind looking the other way for a sec? It's embarrassing. Sure, Scarlet. I turned around. Brains, but not ours. I hope your health insurance covers this. Dwack. Bleh. Once more, with feeling. Dwack. Are we the bad guys? We dragged him back to the mansion, paying careful attention to not run into any of the zombies on the mock. Scarlet opened the hidden trap door in the games room. I pulled Forge and Conscious Body in. Ofa. My hand slipped, causing Floyd Body to tumble down the stairs. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> he just kept going and going. I know, I know. I'll get, or I know, I know. I'll get him. Better get him quick. We're not going to have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch him pretty quickly. Put him on the operating table to start to analyze. Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? The virus. It's pretty clear it's man-made. Even more interesting than that it looks like something I would make. Or, not that I ever made zombie viruses, sexy Chad Finn. <laughs> yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. Cat, you there? Weird. That cat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. There's no microphones all the way down here. I guess so. I was going to tell you that we've got the cure now. Sweet, great work, Scarlet. You bet I did. We administered the cure to four of them and went back upstairs together. Cat, you there? What's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting for hours for you guys. You two done yet? I've got the cure now. We'll need your people's help to administer it. We'll be right on it. Lay low for now. Or, we'll be right on it. We Lay low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, sexy Chad Fit, <laughs> his face. Tell me about yourself. Uh, it'd be my pleasure. I should call the zombies play, and there's just enough time left in the day for a lovely dinner with Scarlet. Then I want a night walk with Ellie to somewhere safe from prying eyes. You should buy a girl dinner first time before you murder her in the woods, you know. I think I found the way to bring the other's memories back. Found their lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet. I wasn't sure how to get back there after they shipped us out of there, so that's a huge win. So where is it? A secret trapdoor in the games room. You just have to press the hidden panel in the wall. That said, how are we supposed to get in there without being seen? There's cameras everywhere, and Scarlet and I were only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. <laughs> Different kind of pandemic than I'm used to. <clears throat> Don't you worry about that. I've got an inside, man. Four is going to be helping us over at a few cameras and microphones in the mansion with old recordings. Four? That way, we can get in and stay alongside long enough to get their memories back without raising any sort of fuss. Or that we chaos down the stairs? What's that look for? I'm surprised it's still standing after today, to be honest. I wouldn't work with people to go down that easy. Is Four always working with you? Nope. Never tell now, but we can't afford to refuse his help. I've had him prove he's trustworthy. Don't worry, you can count on him. Alright, alright, if you say so. Anyway, we have everything we need for the first part of the plan. Up for a trip down memory lane together? Sounds like a plan. You guys have to see this, trust me. Allie put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase Ford became intimately and repeatedly familiar with. Did Allie prove Ford's trust before or after his little trip down the stairs? Whoa! You guys found my secret spot already? Um, sorry, what? I found this place this morning! I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while. More fun to play in the dark. Hold me back, sexy Chad Finn. Oh god, that sounded weird when I said it like that. <laughs> oh, Terry, you gotta love her. I'll explain the situation as we walk down the stairs. Sure enough, they were skeptical. Except for Scarlet. Okay, your story makes a little more sense when you come down there. We walk towards the machines and make sure of awe and fear. Oh, uh, frick, what was Violet? Violet was like, um, 
The markings on the, this machine. My father's company made these. Why? They didn't. Not my baby. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish that it, I wish I had to say it wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, why they film the show over and over. But I know that if we don't escape and fast, they're going to kill us sooner or later. Six Chad Finn and I are going to do our very best to make sure all of us get out of here alive. But to do that, I need you to trust me. Trust you with what? Or no, it's like trust for Violet, I always forget your voice. I know it's like Scarlet Scarlet's like Oh and Violet's like um freak, what does she like? Trust you with what? And I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they kept you in. For us to escape, we need all of us to have our memories back. Otherwise, you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish just to step into this tank because someone said so. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me. I'm, I, but, but, I know she's telling the truth about the machine because I built it. Allie. Hmm? This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. We've gotten to know each other quite a few times by now. It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad that machine works. Maybe one day I'll put it to use the way it should be. Alright, I trust you. We just walk back into this machine. Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it. Go into it, and then Six Chad Finn and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should, but it might hurt a bit. Do spare me the details, please. Scarlet and Violet walked into their respective machines. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Finn. And besides, I got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like mecha. I guess. <laughs> Always can count on Terra. Is, is this going to hurt? Uh, it is. It is. I'm sorry, anyway. Don't be sexy, Chad Finn. I'm happy you wouldn't lie to me. It makes me even more sure to trust you. Here we go. Let's do this. Alright, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, six Chad Finn. On it. If it was necessary for all of us, their screams from the reversal press were almost more than I could take. Allie and I covered our ears as Violet Scar, you and Terry remembered years of memories in a matter of minutes. Doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Step out of the tanks after what it must have felt like hours. Guys, you okay? His probably this probably isn't that mentioned it to mention it, but I made a bit with four about what would happen when they got their memories back. What did you bet? I'm going to watch from a safer distance, if you don't mind. If looks could kill the girls that had just gotten out of the tanks would have killed me several times over. They ran to me yelling and screaming. You five-timey little cheater! Wait, I can't explain. I too late. They're on me like hyenas. <laughs> now that we've all calmed down, how about we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, sexy Chadfin. Out with it then. All right, listen up. Or let's start right, explain your plan from start to finish. Trust me, it's the best we got. If this is our plan, we're doomed. Oh boy. Cut 
Congrats, Sexy Chadfin. You made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. That's before we got the zombies well, believe it or not. Glad to hear it. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? Too early to say. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, can't? I like the sound of that. But you know what I like even more? Drama. And what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke, so who's it gonna be? Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room, and it's not the hidden one. I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw a Cat open it using a black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key both in the mansion as well as other buildings. I like it pretty good to get her hands on that. Exactly. If you get that key from me for even a minute, I can make a mold of it. That we can use as a duplicate key. What is this? Freaking the escapists? <laughs> I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome, but wouldn't Cat notice her master key going missing? You're absolutely right, especially if you try. Especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt or I'm feeling a butt coming. But I won't be, but it won't be you or I taking it. Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Let me go get Yui. By the end of tonight, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say it sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Trust me, Six Chad fan. When have I ever been wrong? I could list every single date we've been on as evidence. Those don't count. Yui. There's something about her, you know. We'll make it happen. It was the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk in the woods the same day we had been, we had when we tr had truly met for the first time. It's a little awkward at first figuring out to not give away what we knew on camera, but we'd figured it out pretty quick. It's so nice to see you again, Sex Chad Finn. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's gotta be fate, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel a little like things are going a little over my head. The show, meeting you again, everything, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything is just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like I know it's going to be okay. Would it be okay if we just spend today this way? She leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute. About getting a master key? Ah, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun, bun, bun! Bun, bun, bun! Darted out of the nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot. Bun, bun, bun! Hunt! Left out of her arms and dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how about we walk for a little longer? What just happened? She asked for my hand and then held it tight. I'd like that. We walked and talked for hours. Then we took breaks. We laid next to each other on the grass, talking about anything and everything. Yui's a lovely girl. At times I remembered how dire the situation we were in and how I couldn't help but freeze up. With Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile made me feel lighter than air. Life with her would be wonderful. I've got to make sure to get all of us out of here safe. Sexy Chad Finn? Yeah? I love you. I hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. I can't wait for that day, Yui. I'll be counting the days till then. We walked to the mansion together, hand in hand, then went our separate ways. Sexy Chad, or er, no, this is 
Not Allie. I don't know why I did her voice. <clears throat> Sexy Chad Finn, you would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, Gat? Got attacked by some kind of forest monster. I was at least ten feet tall, had monstrous teeth, and... I was at least five of them. Took everything I had not to laugh. Er, took everything I had not to laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. Made sure that Ford deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. That's good to know. It's the worst run yet. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I've just had a long day. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. Five forest pieces, nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all. Forest piece effect. One in ten people, it could happen to you. <laughs> okay. Alright, right. I'll see you later, sexy Chad Finn. Good night. Mission success. I can't believe that worked. How do you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our special training last night. You sound like Ash. I may have, I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... I, I, I'm sorry, what? I'm from the country, and even that's crazy to me. <laughs> I'm half kidding. Don't worry about it. Which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet, which sucks. It's gonna take a little longer for the makeshift plastic to sit. Where do you get the plastic from, by the way? Believe me, knowing more about how we got it will make not make you any happier as a person. Uh, never mind. I'm cool with not knowing. Anyways, the keys will probably use will die tomorrow morning, but you have to have you'll but you'll have to have your next date by then. Well, you'll test them out as soon as it gets as soon as it's not tomorrow. Yep. Okay, I'm reading great. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go, team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, say Chad Finn. Before I disable the audio recordings in the house at night, so we should be good to talk back up there. I'll let them know. Back, back up the staircase, back to the mansion. Where are they? Ugh, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. I'll make my way over. Hey, Violet, how are you? Goodness, apologies, sexy chat fan. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides, uh, say, hundreds of different versions of memory of the same week. I'm worried for the people back home. Huey has her brothers to worry about, though she tries to not burden anyone with that feeling. Everyone has family out there, and who knows what's happened to them in the last, well, however long we've been trapped here. I have never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be so happy to see you again. You're right. Though there's no way you could know that for sure, could you? I guess so, but we gotta believe, right? I suppose you're right once again, Sex Champion. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm going to hold them so tight. It's kind of funny. What is? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, he did. Her name was Viola. That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know the type. She came first in just about everything. Well, I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She she saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could, and in the end, she was hit before I was, and she died for it. I, uh, I'm so sorry, Violet. I... Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, for just that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm over sharing, aren't I? I apologize. I, it's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, sexy Chad Finn. It's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live to the standard she set for my parents. Probably guess how well that went. I wasn't as good as running the business and being, or, or appearing prim and proper, or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really. 
That's the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make room for my new baby brother. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times, I feel like I can't do anything right. Look how this show has developed. It's a nightmare in every regard. Violet. Yes? I'll turn my arms tightly. It, you're an incredible woman, and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put the fear of God into the throat of five and make delicious meals some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out of together. And we wouldn't be able to do it without you. You are too kind. Thank you for the... I, I appreciate it. But enough about me. Do you remember anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't. But I'm hoping that the master key will... We pilfered will help with that. I hope so, for your sake. In the event where it does not provide any answers, my previous offer about finding you help outside of here to get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really do appreciate it. It's the least I can do. Still, I still fancy you quite a bit, you know. I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for a lovely cruise around what's left of the world. I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We talked for a few months longer before retiring for the night. For once, I laid in bed, not worrying about being killed. For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here.